This episode is brought to you by the Momo Investing app. Use the link pinned to the top comment. You need to be able to see all of the orders that are coming in, all of the orders that are going out, and the net inflow and outflow. You need to be able to see what are the big dogs doing in terms of selling or buying today. Use that link pinned to the top comment. Get your free stocks. Let's step our investing up. I see you over there. Now, let's talk about it. The first banger on the list, but you know I can't forget this. This is not financial advice. I just hope a bunch of them is baby because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, don't invest in companies you don't understand and don't believe in because if they dip then you're not gonna buy the dip and then you're gonna sell low and be right back here crying to me and I'm not having that so if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds now let's talk about it the first banger on the list is DWAC it's ticker symbol D W A C and I'm not telling you to buy hold or sell I'm giving you the facts so you could be the judge and we got a lot of facts on them today family hit the subscribe hit the like and shout out to the notification squad Currently, DWAC is $40.80 at the time of this recording. It is up 14% just on the day. It's flat on the after hours. It's down 14% in the last week. What does this mean? You get it for the same price that somebody bought it this week or just one week ago. This doesn't mean that you go and do it. Just wait and see all of the facts as they play out. I'm going to tell you what the big dogs are doing. I'm going to show you how to use Moomoo appropriately in this video. And I'm going to show you the price levels that you need to be on the lookout for, for a breakout or a breakdown. Now, check it out. In the last year, it's still up over 155% because remember, they just basically came out with this back not too long ago. So check this out. When you look at the volume and you need to understand why volume is important, the trading volume, how many buys, how many sales are going back and forth. You can see that it's basically double what it is on average. What do I mean by that? The average volume is about 2.77 million, but you see right here in this red rectangle that the volume today was 5.48 million. This means that it's, again, basically double what it was. There is much more people who are in this play than were in it in previous days. You got to keep your eyes out on that, especially if you like to buy options. Now, the reason I want you to pay attention to this is because DWAC is still almost a penny stock. The company is so low in terms of its value right now that it has the opportunity to grow like crazy. It doesn't mean that it will but it means that it has the potential. And I'm gonna explain that to you. So look at the market cap. If you were to add up all of the shares of DWAC right now, you'll see that it's worth basically $1.52 billion, right? It would be significantly easier for a company worth about, let's call it $1.5 billion to double to $3 billion than it would for a company worth, let's call it $50 billion to double to $100 billion for the sole fact that it takes way less money to get this thing to move, right? now. Look at the 52 week high. DWAC already got to 175 and it doesn't mean that it'll go there again, but you gotta keep your eye on it, especially in the sense of everything going on with Twitter right now. Now, check this out. Speaking of Twitter, Twitter is $49 and their market cap, if you add all the Twitter shares up together, you're gonna get basically $39 billion. So imagine if this needed to double, let's call it 40 billion, just to go all the way up basically to 80 billion, right? Then that's gonna take a whole nother $40 billion in essence. However, to get something like DWAC to go up, this is why people are jumping in because they see all of the heat, all of the news of Twitter right now. People are trying to migrate off of Twitter and you know what? Where are they likely to go? To the competitors. I'm talking Facebook. I'm talking even DWAC now, but let's keep it going. Now, check this out. According to CNBC, they said the stock tied to Donald Trump's social media venture fell 13% as Twitter announced this deal with Elon Musk. Remember, in the stock market, sometimes things come down, but they end up being kind of like a rubber band where they come way down just to sling right back up or they at least sling up in a short term, let's call it, or a little bit of time. Let's check out what DWAC is. So it says DWAC, which is Digital World Acquisition Corp, is a blank check company, right? And the sole act, the sole point of this company is just so they could acquire a company and then basically go public with it so everybody else could buy shares of the company, right? So you'll be buying shares of DWAC if you decided to do it. Make sure you do your own research. But what's happening is they're gonna basically acquire Donald Trump's social media venture, take it public, so then it would kind of transform into you owning DWAC, or not owning DWAC, your DWAC shares would transfer into you owning the Truth Social basically the stocks out of that so then check this out they say year to date the losses were 30 percent on it when it dropped that 13 percent. this is before it went up this 14 percent. so it's probably down like let's call it 15 16 percent right now now let's check this out they said the social media platform truth social has been in the app store since about february now 
they said that it's an alternative to Twitter and it's an alternative to Facebook. So when everyone sees Twitter pumping up and Elon Musk doing his thing over there, people are thinking, okay, Twitter, Facebook, and now DWAC. So people are gonna say, okay, yeah, I don't like Twitter. I don't like Facebook. I'm going over to DWAC. And you can only imagine the amount of people who follow Donald Trump very, very, just they, they follow him to the end of the earth. They're gonna be over there. And it is what it is, right? Whether you like that or not, you just gotta live in reality. It's just the truth. So now they said that they both banned him, Facebook and Twitter, around things that happen in the Capitol building. We're not gonna get political with it, right? But it is what it is. Now, he's saying that he's not gonna join into Twitter even if Elon was to build them. And I got the receipts on that. Again, like I always do, let's show the receipts. Trump insists that he has no plans to rejoin Twitter even if Musk reinstates his account. So it says down here in green, and again, Wall Street, they always gotta throw a jab, right? When they not feeling you as a political party or an influencer or a celebrity or whoever, somebody of note, they gotta throw a jab at you when they are totally against you. Check this out. It says, stick with his fledgling social media network. So Trump is insisting to stick with, they call it the fledgling, like a little baby or something, right? That's how they're trying to treat it. Like it's a little helpless just duck, the helpless duckling. So <laughs> can we get some duck emojis in the chat? But check this out. He said this, and they quoted him. It says, I am not going to Twitter. I am going to stay on truth. And this is Trump when he told Fox in a news statement, right? Now, we known this since about yesterday because Fox, they kind of let it out. They must they must have him on speed dial. They hit him up and they must have said, hey, are you going to Twitter or not, man? What's going on? And they told us this yesterday. They said Trump will not return to Twitter regardless of Musk's purchase and according to Fox again. Let's check out again on Moomo. So I showed you, you can see the extra large buys, the large buys, the medium buys, and the small buys. The small buys, these are the retail investors. This is you and me. The extra large buys or sells, this is the institutions. These are people who buy in 10 million, even 1 million shares all at one time, or even 10 million or $1 million worth of the shares all at one time. Look at this, I highlight this in blue, boom, just for you. And it says the extra large in this blue rectangle, extra large buys, when you see it green, 4.57 million, right? And then when you look at the sales, it's 4.19 million. So the big dog, they're doing more buying than selling of this. This is why it's pumping up as of late it could come back down but this is why it's pumping up today don't rush in but just understand the facts when you look at the small buys the large buys the medium buys you can even take a screenshot of this right now and you'll see that literally across the board except for one metric which is the large buys which is right under that blue the blue rectangle you'll see that the large buys these are like hundred thousand dollars and things like that these they're slightly more selling than buying but the extra large the medium the small all of them People are loading up on DWAC and I helped it to pump up today in the short term. Now, I want you to see the level two order book that we were talking about where you can see, again on Moomoo, you can see the calls, not the calls, you can see the orders coming in and the orders basically going out. So watch this. When you look at this blue rectangle and you say, okay, there's a one on the top, then a 200, then a 20, then a 233. What these are telling you is once you see an order come in, when you go to buy a stock, you can see the ask and the bid. You usually only see the top two. The top one being that one in green over there on the left, and then on the other side in red, you see the two. Usually you only see those. But as soon as you get into a stock, you'll notice that it comes down or goes up immediately. What happens is because you don't see the whole story. But when you look here in this blue rectangle, you can see that there's one order for a stock at $40, right? $40.20. There's an order at $40.15. There's 200 of them, family. So you can see all of this down. But notice, long story short, for those of you in the back, check this out. There are way more buys coming in than sells. So what does that mean? In the short term, they're trying to pump the stock up. I want you to keep an eye on particular levels. The first level I want you to see is the $35 range. So now at $35, if we break under that, then DWAC is in a free fall straight up. It's put option season on it, in my opinion. You make sure you do, the, you do your own research, family. Now, $41 above that, this is a bull indicator, meaning it's likely to run up before it hits the next resistance on the technical standpoint to about 49 or 50. So be on the lookout for that. Again, join the Discord if you want to get up on the plays early as we are. I'll see you in the next one. I love y'all. Take care.